So the first six cards deal with your love life and the, uh, I'm sorry, five cards deal with your love life and the bottom five cards deal more with the general energy, work, money, finances, family, and things like that. Um, first of all, let's talk about the first row. Um, this is your energy here as the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles mean you're very sure-footed, you're very solid, and you know what you're going after. This is also making promises, making an offer, making some type of um, gesture towards another person, okay? And the person that you're dealing with here, the King of Cups, this can be a water sign, Sun, Moon, or Rising, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is somebody who's very old and wise. They don't have to be physically older than you, but they are very sure about what they want. Their emotions are very stable, and um, they're very emotionally mature as well as emotionally expressive. And they're the types because kings are, you know, they're, um, it's sort of like the highest octave of that energy. Um, it deals with somebody who is sure what they want and they don't settle for anything less on the emotional front. So if this is a relationship partner to you, then I feel like you're making some type of a gesture to offer something to them. With the Three of Cups coming out early in the spread, it indicates to me some type of a major achievement that has happened for you in terms of your relationship development. So for those of you who are in relationship, this is like coming together, reconcile, uh, reconciling your differences, as well as making promises as to how to move forward. For those of you who are single, this indicates to me merriment, having a lot of good times, uh, going out, dating, um, enjoying the nightlife, making connections, romantic gestures and romantic connections. However, there is a specific person that is front and center on your romantic radar. And it sh uh, proves to me to be, you know, this um, energy, the King of Cups, someone who is quite spiritual as well. They might be physically older than you. If you are single, they might be physically older than you. And um, I see a lot of Capricorns actually even um, dating people that are older and marrying people that are older because your energy is very sure-footed. So you're tra attracting people who are more emotionally mature, financially more stable, and somebody that has, you know, solid qualities about them. So there is somebody that you're interested in here. And I feel like go ahead and make this gesture to this person. The fact that they're not facing you might mean that they're looking elsewhere. Don't leave them waiting for too long. Don't leave them in the dark about how you feel about them. So if there are feelings that you need to express, don't be this slow moving knight. You know, make a gesture. Otherwise, they might be leaving. Um, some of you might be dating somebody that you're meeting in transit. So like, um, they're here today for a business trip or for a vacation or something and you cross paths and you really like them and you might cross paths in some type of a, you know, uh, hanging out type of an environment, going out to drink, going out to uh, dance, things like that. And you might cross paths with them, but then they're, you know, um, on the way out. So if this is somebody that you feel you have a very strong connection to, go ahead and make that gesture for them, okay? Or towards them. And if this is a relationship partner, this is somebody who's really focused on their future expansion. They're thinking about, you know, what else is out there for me in terms of life, in terms of career, in terms of professional development. I don't feel like they're looking for greener pastures or they're looking for other people to date. I feel like they're not 100% settled where they are and they're looking at big moves they're looking at you know major career changes even and so their focus really isn't on love and relationships and being bogged down to unhealthy relationships they're really itching to move and they're also saying are you going to take this next step with me if you're not then you know I'm gonna have to pick up and go and so you have some um, big discussions with your relationship partners that are coming through what is our ne next big plan you know are we moving in together are we buying a property are our career paths uh, lining up so that we can start this new endeavor together and so with the nine of wands this indicates to me it's sort of like you don't need to be defensive anymore. You don't need to, you know, have your walls up. The walls are definitely coming down because you're going to have some heartfelt conversation with the people that you like or the people that you're dating or the person that you're dating exclusively 
the walls are coming down, you're going to have open channels of communication and you're going to feel that they mean what they say and not take things personally, like it has nothing to do with you. I'm looking at, you know, future expansion opportunities. So if you're not on board with me, um, then I'm going to have to, you know, cut my losses. So it has nothing to do with the way that they feel about you. I feel like they're just telling you, you kind of need to step up a little bit. You kind of need to make a move. This is the slowest moving night in the deck. Okay, slowest moving night in the deck. This is somebody that ruminates and ponders and, and, you know, does spreadsheets about pros and cons before they make a decision. And as a result of, you know, not making fast, swift movement, they do miss out on big opportunities and, and big opportunities kind of like when they're ready, those opportunities don't hang around or don't stick around. So it's really important for you to make some moves, make some changes and kind of like recalibrate where your relationship is going and who you're offering this love to and you know try to speed up when it comes to the gesture that you're giving to another person um in terms of your work life and everything else you know the the general energies this is a heavy heavy um work oriented type of a spread okay let's talk about your work environment well let's talk about you first you show up here as the magician. This is your overall energy, the energy that you embody. This is somebody who's very capable, who's very intelligent. And um, I feel for many of you, you have had a myriad of uh, job experiences in the past. Okay. So I feel like, you know, you might have uh, done clerical work. You might have uh, done a lot of customer service. You might have done sales. You might have done like a bunch of little things. So when people looked at your resume, for example, you have a wealth of experience to draw from. So you're somebody who's very versatile. And I also feel like, you know, you're great at solving problems, but the magician is somebody who's very intelligent. They know how to solve problems. They know how to think. They're kind of like the thinker of the major arcana cards. And so you're trying to manifest a good job, a good future for yourself. You're trying to build on something so that you can um, create that, you know, that structure for yourself and also that future for yourself. This is a card as well of somebody who's going to school, who's learning new things, who's synthesizing different knowledge and different ideas and applying it to the work environment. Um, with the magician energy, I feel like coming into this week, you're realizing your power. You're realizing as well that, wow, I'm actually really smart. So I really need to, you know, take life a little bit more seriously. And I need to create some concrete plans for myself so that my career will be in alignment with my intelligence. A lot of you, honestly, I feel like you sell yourself short and you end up in jobs that pay you below what you are worth, or you end up in jobs where... So, for example, um, a job asks for, you know, um, a bachelor's degree and you you have a master's degree and you're like, OK, why don't I just apply for that? Even though I am um, I already have a master's degree because all the jobs that I apply for with a master's degree, they might not have accepted me in the past. So it's like settling. It's like aiming a little bit lower than what you are capable of, because Many of you are so big on personal responsibilities that you don't want to be the weak link. You don't want to take on more than you can handle. And especially you want to build knowledge and, and you know, uh, work from the ground up. So to you, it's like one day I'll get up there. One day I'll be on top of that, you know, career ladder. But for right now, I want to work on the foundation. And some of you, you, you sell yourself short and you end up in jobs that don't really appreciate you or jobs that are beneath your pay grade or even beneath your educational level or beneath your experience level because you feel like it's safer here, okay? In the current work situation, despite all of your capabilities, despite all the work that you're doing, I feel like you're not being adequately compensated, okay? If you feel like it's not fair, come to the person, whoever is in charge, and just tell them, wait a minute, I'm doing a lot of work. I'm doing work enough for like two or three people. You need to pay me more. 
um, this is a big month for you guys overall to kind of, um, I, I feel like demand what you're worth, okay? And realize what you're worth. It comes with the realization, realizing what you're worth and not settling for anything less where people are giving you, you know, bits and scraps. The place that you're at working right now with the Nine of Cups, it feels comfortable. It's an environment where you know exactly what you're doing. So the work flows very naturally. But I also feel like you're a little bit too comfortable where you are. And you justify the comfort, you know, by um, you justify this type of injustice by saying, oh, I'm happy where I am. I'm comfortable. I don't really need to move. And for earth signs, it takes a lot of major upheavals for you guys to move. And I feel this is where you're at. But when you move, we have the world opening up for you. This is so, sort of like looking at a situation for what it is, devising a plan for yourself so that you can have, you know, plan B, plan C, plan D, so that you know that um, there are more opportunities out there. So this is good, but this is better. Um, so with the advice here, with the Queen of Wands, this is telling you um, this can be a person in the work environment that can really help you achieve this period of greatness, okay? So they're linked up here with the world, which indicates to me that they're very career-oriented. They're um, always scanning the horizon for new talents, new people, new opportunities. And they're not somebody that keep themselves stuck in a rut. If they're unhappy with something, they will voice it and they will verbalize it. This is somebody that can prove to be an ally to you. Additionally, if this is an energy that the universe is telling you, you know, don't just sit there and think about it. Act on it. Because the wand's energy deals heavily with uh, the ability to put plans into action. So don't keep yourself stuck because it's comfortable. Make a move so that you can improve overall the, the quality of your life by putting yourself in a place that is a perfect fit where you're not settling for, you know, bits and scraps, where you just don't feel comfortable, where you are feeling challenged as well, okay? Opposition is not always good, uh, bad. It always, like, um, teaches us new things about ourselves and it forces us to be quick on our toes. It forces us to learn new skills so that we can expand our resume, we can expand our skill set so that we can learn, okay? Um, I hope the reading has been helpful for you. I'll try to be back for the next week's reading, okay? Take care of yourself, Capricorns. I know that this past week, um, well, overall, this past um, few months has been a little bit rough for many of you. Uh, you're dealing with your Saturn transit right now, and, uh, you know, it's going to be there for the next, what, um, two years? So I just hope that, you know, you guys can get yourself to this point where you kind of realize what your strengths and your weaknesses are and realize how much power of manifestation you have so you don't settle for situations that give you less than you deserve. Okay, I wish you all the very best. Take care. Bye-bye.